Good afternoon, Sheriff Mark Hunter. I'm here today to update you and provide some information that will hopefully answer questions many of you have regarding this situation. On October 31st, shortly after 8 a.m., two of our deputies encountered Mr. James Hodges walking near the intersection of Marion Avenue and East Duval Street. The interaction resulted in the arrest of Mr. Hodges. Body cam footage that, had, that was provided to Mr. Hodges of this incident has recently been circulated across many outlets and has resulted in our office receiving a number of calls from concerned citizens. I want to begin with a timeline of the initial events. Mr. Hodges was arrested on October the 31st at 8 a.m. The arresting deputy was Jamie Goatee and her supervisor, Randy, Sergeant Randy Harrison. On November the 3rd, Mr. Hodges requested body cam footage of the incident. He was provided the footage uh, the same day. During the review process, prior to it being released, a likely policy violation was discovered. Since the incident involved a patrol sergeant, the patrol lieutenant and captain uh, were made aware of the incident. The patrol lieutenant and captain were directed to investigate the incident further and began that day, November the 3rd. Mr. Hodges had not yet filed a formal complaint when the patrol commanders were instructed to investigate this matter. Arrangements were made that that day for Mr. Hodges to complete a sworn statement at a later date uh, upon his availability. The administrative investigation concluded the afternoon of 11-7 and al uh, allegations of policy violations against these two deputies were sustained. As a result of these findings, Sergeant Harrison will be demoted immediately, suspended without pay for seven days, and will not be eligible for any favorable action for two years. Deputy Goatee will be suspended without pay for two days. Both deputies will be required to undergo remedial training pertaining to civil rights. As Sheriff, I take full responsibility for this event and want to extend my sincere apologies to Mr. Hodges for the actions of my deputies. I do not feel these deputies' actions were guided by ill intent but rather by frustration and failure to rely on their training. Nevertheless, this conduct is unacceptable. We will continue to work hard and train to ensure these incidents do not reoccur. I do want, to, want you to know that I'm deeply uh, saddened uh, of the negative impact that this has on our agency and, and this situation has caused to us. I want to reassure you that as your sheriff, um, we do make mistakes, and, and, but we take corrective action to fix them. This is how we get better. I want to applaud Mr. Hodges for, um, for, for uh, actually reporting that and re requesting the video. That's how we learn. Um, I can promise you that you know we're going to work hard to try to get 100%, but we'll never be 100%. No one is. I have no doubt that the employees, the remaining employees up here at this sheriff's office, they work their hearts out and, and want to do you a good job and want to have your trust and respect as I do. And as your sheriff, I'm going to keep on pushing and trying to make us better every day. And I want you to know we do not take your trust and your respect for granted. We earn it every day. And thank you.